When the panel convenes, it is first briefed on the HRB and the awards scheme. They're also shown a video about unconscious bias and reminded to use only the assessment criteria when considering applications. The primary reviewer for each application introduces it, highlights its strengths and weaknesses, and explains how initial feedback from Stage 1 reviewers has been addressed. The secondary reviewer adds any other relevant comments. All other members can then contribute their perspectives too. After each application has been discussed thoroughly, the chair asks for a provisional score. This score is agreed with all panel members by consensus based on the panel discussion. Once all applications have been provisionally scored, these scores are reviewed again. This is to see if they should be adjusted in light of scores assigned to other applications. Given that a limited amount of funding is available, applications tend to naturally fall into three groups. Those that definitely deserve funding, those the panel would like to fund but where there might not be sufficient budget to fund all, and applications with more significant weaknesses that are not recommended for funding. Once the definitive group has been agreed, the panel looks again at the applications it would like to fund. To make the best possible use of the available budget, the group of possibles is then ranked in order of preference. Those scoring the highest are selected to go forward for funding. If two applications score equally based on the assessment criteria, the applicant with the underrepresented gender will be selected. Recommendations for funding are then passed to the board of the HRB, which will give formal approval. Typically, a maximum of 20% of applications are funded. However, all applicants receive comprehensive feedback on the panel's thoughts and recommendations. For unsuccessful applicants, this can be very valuable in helping to guide future applications. For more information, visit our website and read our call documents.